Yo, what's up, guys? It's Vino bringing you a new video. And in the background, you guys are going to see um, a KM fell. This is a huge fell with a tar red dot grip on Octane kill confirmed. And the commentary topic for today would be um, it's kind of like my call of oh crap, drop my controller. My Call of Duty history, if um, I guess you can go ahead and say it like that. But um, uh, React brought up the idea, and he's going to do a video himself. I don't know if he's going to separate it out. Um, by each game and each video, but I'm just going to go ahead and put mine all together right here. Um, of course, I played Call of Duty on the PS2 a long time ago. It wasn't really nothing I was really into. I mean, I just played campaign a little bit. Didn't really play multiplayer or anything like that. But um, then um, Call of Duty 4 came around. I heard about it. Wasn't really interested in it. Um, I didn't play it. I don't even think I played it until uh, when I first played it. Call of Duty 4. I think it may have been like after World at War. Um, but um, World at War came out after Call of Duty 4, and I played that. Um, played that a little bit. Um, I remember I got like level 2 or something like that. I think you had to play so much the campaign, like in multiplayer, before you could actually play the multiplayer games. And I wasn't really good at it, so <laughs> I just gave up on it. And then I played Zombies. That was really about it. Then, I mean, I was really only it for World of War. I mean, that's all I did on that game was play zombies. And then, um, MW2 came out. That's when I really got into Call of Duty. Um, I didn't even know, like, when the games come out or anything like that. I just hear it from people at school. A lot of people were playing it, and I remember people asking what uh, what prestige they were and stuff like that. And I didn't even know what a prestige was. I was, like, level 3, level 4, and I thought I was 4th prestige. And <laughs> clearly I wasn't, but um, it was pretty funny. I mean, I wasn't really knowledgeable in Call of Duty. Then um, I I got Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2 for the PS3 at Christmas that year, and I really just played the game nonstop. I wasn't that great at it. My KD was probably like a point six to point seven five somewhere around there. I kept on playing the game, even though I did suck at it. Um, I enjoyed playing the game. It was a lot of fun to do. I mean, after school, I mean, everybody'd come home, play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It was a lot of fun for everybody and a lot of great memories on that game and um i mean really i mean i was kind of like a no, i wasn't really a noob tuber in that game but um a lot of the people that never played the game before like enjoyed noob tubing but um i try my best to like, i mean i can't even really describe how i was in that game it was like i was so unknowledgeable about the game it was it was ridiculous but um that's right about it from w2 then uh, Black Ops 1 came out. Black Ops 1 was the game I probably um, was the best at at the time. It was um, it was a really good like good game to play. It was a lot of fun, but it wasn't the like game like you'd think it would be after MW2. Because I remember I was so hot for Black Ops 1 um, after MW2 because you think it has to be better than MW2. The game play itself wasn't better, but I had a lot of good good fun on that game. A lot of great memories on the game, and that was the game I got to, uh, like, I think I had, like, you know, on PS3, you can make multiple accounts, it's free. I made one account, and I played on that for maybe a week or two, and I had a 3 KD I was really proud of. Then, um, my main account was a 1.75 or something like that, um, but that was a game I probably played the most, I've been say. I probably played the most counting PS3 and Xbox 360, like... Well, actually, I don't know. MW2, I probably played a little bit more, but that game I played quite a bit. And I had a lot of fun on that game, and a lot of people hated the game, but I actually really enjoyed it. Although the gameplay wasn't the best, it was still a lot of fun to play. And, um, you know, after Black Ops 1, MW3, MW3 I was really hot for too, because, you know, you think it has to be better than MW2. It's the next Modern Warfare game. And it really wasn't. I mean, when the game first came out, I enjoyed it, of course. It's a new Call of Duty. Um, but I, I, I figured it'd be a little bit better. It really wasn't in MW2. Um, although quick scoping still was fun in that game, and I was still a, like a huge tryhard in that game. I didn't really quick scope like, competitive or anything like that. And um, I mean that game I played quite a bit. I got to like seventh prestige and then quit playing the game. Went back to old games, MW2, Black Ops 1, and it, I mean it wasn't the best game. But it was still a little bit of fun. I mean. I didn't really have that many great memories on that game. Is, I mean, it's, it was all right. It wasn't the best. It was all right. Um, it was one of the worst Call of Duty games. I'll go ahead and say that. And um, then going to Black Ops 2, 
Kill Black Ops run. 2. Um, I came in, I don't even, I was like a tryhard, you know, just trying to get the best KD, crap like that. And I'm not saying tryhard in a bad way, I mean, I always try hard at the game, have fun on it, or do whatever you want to do to have fun on the game. But, um, yeah, I mean, I was try hard, try to keep my KD high, worry about my KD and crap. And then I turned into like a, a quick scoper, or sniper, or whatever, because um, I did trick shot a little bit in W2, but I wasn't really big into it. Then uh, Black Ops 2 came around and I started uh, quick scoping, going for feeds. Um, I was really into that, and then that's when we started Raza. I actually forgot to mention that I got a 360 in Black Ops 1, or when Black Ops 1 came out. It was like maybe a few months after it came out, actually, is when the PS3 crashed. I was like, screw it, I'm too tired of the PS3. It's had so many online problems, and got a 360. And it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I really enjoy the 360. Um, yeah, that's really about it for that like Black Ops 1 time, like, time period and that. Um, and then MW3, of course, now Black Ops 2, and then I was like at the snapping point um, of my COD career, I guess you could call it. And um, I really enjoyed quick scope, and then I got tired of that, and I was like, well, I, I mean, I don't know what I want to do, because I kind of went back to MW2 to play that a little bit. Um, because I was getting bored of Black Ops 2, I played it so much, and then I got into competitive Call of Duty, I, I, I mean, I've heard of League play, I didn't really play it though, and um, I really got into competitive Call of Duty, and so did uh, Yove and React, we had a lot of fun on that, Black Ops 2 is probably um, right under MW2 on the game I had most fun on, or with Black Ops 1 as well, um, it'd be right around that area, and I mean, it's really about it for Black Ops 2, I just played a lot of competitive on that game, um, I, mean, I did quick scope a little bit on that game as well. It was a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun to play. One of the best Call of Duty games of all time. I mean, it's up there with MW2. Not, not I mean, quite as fun to play as MW2, but it was right up there. I mean, didn't have as many memories on it as I did on MW2. But um, then you move on to Ghosts. Of course, this game's a lot of fun to play. A lot of people hated it when it first came out. Like everybody's like, "Well, this game's trash." It's it's the same old thing, and I was wondering why I was like, why is everybody saying it's the same thing? I mean, it's a brand new game. It's um, a lot of different aspects of the game than um, the past games, and it's a lot of fun to play. I mean, it did get a little bit boring after a while, it, like just pub stomping and crap like that. You can only pub stomp for so long, and then you'll just get bored. And um, I kept on continuing competitive, and I've really gotten to competitive lately. It's a lot of fun to play. Competitive is uh, that's something I'm trying to stick to. Um, I'm going to get out of competitive. I don't think I, like, I got out of snapping. I mean, I can still quick scope every now and then, so I have a lot of fun with it. But um, competitive is something I want to stick to and uh, keep on playing. And that's really my like entire summary of um, all my CODs I play, all my COD career, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'd say React's going to do a video. I don't know how he's going to uh, space out his or if he's just going to do it all in one video, but that was kind of a quick summary for me. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe and like, and follow us on Twitter at Cohesion MLG, and we'll probably like host a tournament at some point. I'm not really sure yet. I mean, um, I'd like to host a tournament, stream it, broadcast stuff like that, but I don't know if that'll happen yet. Maybe do it at some point. Need to focus on playing instead of hosting, really. But um, yeah, it's really all about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Actually, follow me on Twitch as well at twitch.tv slash Plays. Make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll see you later.